All right, here's the next section from E to Z Mysteries Space Shuttle Scan. Josh pulled his hand away and let out a yelp. A small bundle of fur with shiny black eyes was looking up at him. This is my sweet dog, Bear, Alice said. He's just saying hello to you, Josh, but he is hungry for those cookies. I'm about to pop in the oven. Alice opened the kitchen door. Outside, little bear, she ordered. Go help Howie clean the gutters. The dog hopped across the threshold and took off around a corner of the house. Bear adores Howie, she said. You should see this place when Howie brings his kids over. They chase Bear and he chases them right back. She started wiping the table. Dink, be a dear and put the milk in the fridge, would you? Dink opened the fridge and slid the milk jug inside. He noticed a bunch of magnets sticking to the fridge door. One was a plastic alligator holding a note in its mouth. In big handwriting, the note said, Please buy more paper towels. H. Aunt Alice, Kenny told us about the mountain lion this morning, Wallace said. You must have been terrified. I didn't see the critter, but poor Kenny was pretty shook, she said. I was in the house. Suddenly, he came running in the back door and showed me a picture of the lion on his cell phone. I ran to the window, but by then it was gone. Well, I'm glad nothing worse happened, Wallace said. It's not the mountain lion I'm worried about, Alice said. Kenny said he'd seen alligators and snakes by the pond out back. Alice shuddered. Now snakes and gators I can do without, especially with little bear playing in the yard. Just then, they all heard a small engine. Dink looked through the kitchen door and saw a thin woman with red hair climb off a motor scooter. He was wearing shorts, a t-shirt, and sandals. That'll be Hannah, Alice said. The woman came into the kitchen carrying some mail, and Alice introduced everyone. My niece and her friends came all the way from Connecticut to see me, Alice said. Pleased to meet you, Hannah said. I'll make y'all some lemonade. She left the mail on the table and walked into the pantry. That'll be lovely, hun, Alice said as she looked through her mail. My husband likes the articles in this. She slid a magazine called Super Science over to Dink. The magazine cover showed two guys in rubber boots wading in a green pond. The caption read, Green Goo That Can Save the Planet. Alice picked up a white card that was mixed among her envelopes. Oh, drat. Here's another of these dumb postcards, she said. What postcards, Auntie? Wallace asked. Someone wants to buy this house and property, Alice said. They keep pestering me. I've gotten half a dozen postcards in the past few weeks. She slid it over to Wallace, who read it aloud. If you are interested in selling your home, please call or text me immediately. 321-555-9000. Sincerely, MK. Wallace said, your address is on it, but there's no stamp. I guess they stick the postcards in my mailbox, Alice said. It's signed MK, Wallace said. Who's that? Her aunt shrugged. No idea, she said, dropping the postcard into a drawer near the fridge. I haven't gotten back to the person. Then a week ago, a woman started calling. Don't know how she got my number, but she said she wanted to buy my house. Said she'd pay cash. Good thing Hannah took the calls or I would have told her something not very nice. Are you thinking of selling, Wallace asked. Alice shook her head and sighed. Maybe I should, she said. Just get a small, safe apartment in town. No animals, no burglars. Darn it, I don't want to move. Burglars, Wallace said. She took her aunt's hand. Auntie, have you been robbed? Not the house, Alice said. A few weeks ago, I noticed that your uncle's diary and his favorite fountain pen had gone missing from the desk in the barn. His father gave him that pen, and Barney treasured it. Oh, and a batch of letters he saved in a file folder were also gone. Are you sure these things were stolen, Wallace asked? Could Uncle Barney have put them away someplace? Hannah and I searched the deck and the barn. The desk and the barn, Alice said. Those things were there a few weeks ago, and then, poof, they were gone. Maybe I have ghosts in my barn. Josh gulped loudly. Don't mind me, young man, Alice said. I'm just fretting. Now come see where you're sleeping. And I'm going upstairs for a shower and a nap, Wallace told her aunt. Alice slid a tray of cookies into the oven. You kids follow me. I'll bring the lemonade, Hannah said. Lovely, hun, Alice said. She grabbed a key ring from a hook by the door and herded Dink, Josh, and Ruth Rose out to the yard. Aren't we sleeping in the house, Dink asked. Alice shook her head. I have a special place just for kids, she said. Follow me. Alice took them down a stone path across the lawn. Dink noticed a picnic table in the shade of some oak trees. A tall red barn stood at the end of the path, and Dink could see a pond behind it. Long sheets of feathery-looking gray stuff hung from the oak tree's branches. What's that stuff? Josh asked. He stood on tiptoes and tried to reach some that hung over his head. Spanish moss, Alice said. My husband used to call it Grandpa's beard. I wouldn't touch it, though. All kinds of critters live inside it. What kind of critters? Josh asked, pulling his hand back. It's a favorite place for mosquitoes to hide, Alice said. Spiders go in to eat the mosquitoes. Bats fly in to eat the spiders. And snakes climb up there to eat the bats. Josh looked down at the ground. Are there a lot of snakes around here? He asked. Alice nodded. 
Plenty of snakes live in Florida, but only a few types are venomous, she said, walking toward the barn. What's venomous, Josh whispered. It means poisonous, Ruth Rose said. Chapter 4 The barn door was secured with a padlock. The sliding door was decorated with a painting of the space shuttle hurtling across a blue sky. A sign above the door said, Welcome to the space shuttle. How we painted this door and sign last week, Alice said. Isn't it wonderful? He's really good, Josh said. To the right of the door, a small room had been added to the barn. Dink saw a sign that said, Comet Cafe. There were a few tables and chairs in front, sitting in the shade of a tall palm tree. Teachers bring classes of kids to see the barn, Alice said. No kids are coming this week because of spring vac vacation. But when schools are back in session, I get a couple of busloads a week. On the left side of the sliding door, another room jutted out from the barn wall. The room had four windows and a bright yellow screen door. This is the bunkhouse, where you'll sleep, Alice said. She pushed the screen door open, making the hinges creak like a door in a scary movie. Alice flipped on a light switch. The walls were light purple, like the sky just before it gets dark. A, mo a mobile on the, of the planets in the sun, sun hung from the ceiling. Bunk beds stood against opposite walls. Dink noticed the bathroom at the end of the room. This is excellent, Josh said. Who made the cool mobile? Oh, yeah, and he did all the paintings too, Alice said. When horses lived in the barn, the saddles and food were kept here. My husband and Howie added a bathroom and built the bunks. Josh leaned toward Ruth Rose's ear. Ruth Rose's ear. The walls almost match your outfit, he said with a grin, like a blueberry milkshake. My outfit is the color of spring flowers, Ruth Rose told Josh. Dink looked through one of the window screens. Why's the pond all green, he asked. That's algae, Alice said. Green slimy stuff that grows like crazy here. My husband asked some scientists about it, and they told him algae grows so fast because of the fertilizer people use on their lawns. This bunkhouse is perfect, Ruth Rose said. Thanks a lot, Auntie A. You're entirely welcome, Alice answered. Pick your beds. Check the blankets for scorpions. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Josh asked. We have three kinds of scorpions in Florida, Alice said. None of them are deadly, but they have a nasty sting. She pulled a purple blanket off one of the lower bunks and shook it out. Then she ran her hand inside the pillowcases and sheets. Nothing hiding in there, she said. Josh threw his backpack on the bed. Alice had just checked. Oh, and peek inside your shoes before you put them on in the morning, Alice said. Scorpions like to hide in dark places. No way, Josh said. I'm sleeping with my sneakers on. Ding tossed his backpack on the bunk above Josh's. I won't let my critters get you, Josh. I won't let any critters get you, Josh, he said. Josh shook his head. We don't have scorpions in Connecticut, he mumbled. I'll leave you to get settled, Alice said. Come for lemonade when... Suddenly, a scream came through the windows. What on earth? Alice cried. Dink looked out the window again. It's Hannah, he said. Alice and the kids ran outside. Hannah was standing next to the picnic table. On the ground by her feet were a tray, a pitcher, and four plastic drinking glasses. She was crying and shaking her head. Alice grabbed Hannah in a hug. Honey, what is it? She asked. What happened? Hannah wiped her eyes. It, it's under the table, she said, pointing. It ran right over my foot. What ran over your foot? Alice asked. A rattlesnake, Hannah said. Goodness, Alice said. Did it bite you? No, it slithered away, Hannah, Hannah said, holding Alice's hand. Just then, Howie came running. What's going on? He asked. Bear showed up and started laughing at the spilled lemonade. Hannah saw a rattlesnake under the table, Alice said. Howie looked to where Alice was pointing. Are there really rattlesnakes around here? Josh asked. Yep, but I've never seen one, Howie said. They're shy and keep out of sight. Hannah bent to pick up the tray. Leave that, Alice said. We'll take care of it. You go in the house and relax. Maybe check on my cookies? Hannah hurried across the yard to the house. What other, po what other poisonous snakes live in Florida? Ruth Rose asked Howie. We have several, he said. The ones I know about are rattlesnakes, water moccasins, copperheads, and coral snakes. Those are the pretty ones, the coral snakes. They have red, yellow, and black bands around their bodies, like ribbons. Everyone looked at the ground. Do any poisonous ones come near the bunkhouse? Josh asked. Howie shook his head. Not likely. If a snake sees a human or a dog, it'll hide, he said. Plus, we have skunks and raccoons around here, and the snakes are afraid of them, too. Skunks? Josh whispered. I'll clean up this lemonade stuff, Howie offered. Thanks. You're a dear, Alice said. Come on, kids. Alice unlocked the padlock and slid the barn door open. When the kids stepped inside, dim blue lights came on. I'm going to stop there.